Solar Car Challenge is a 15 month educational cycle. We are the top project based STEM initiative where we help motivate students in science and engineering alternative energy. And we do this throughout the year by teaching them how they should design it, how they engineer it, how they construct their car, and then how to race it, as well as things along the line with teaching commitment, teaching them dedication, so that when they finish this project after 15 months, they're going to be there at the race having the best time of their life. Hands-on, project-based STEM initiatives are the key to help motivate students. You're actually touching and making things work. And the expression on your face of, we've been able to get the solar ray to put out the right amount of power, it's huge. And that excitement creates motivation and carries you through all the rest of the project. I'm the captain, I'm the welder, and mechanical. I'm mechanical and I work on grinding in the car. I do electrical and finance. I mostly work on electrical and telemetry stuff. Electrical and solid works. And I work on anything that needs to be worked on. It's a real tight-knit team and we all know each other real well. And we all joke around and we work together. And if somebody's in trouble, we can all help each other out, so yeah. I knew absolutely nothing about electronics or anything before I started here. Now I think I know a fair bit. A lot of people think it's a college thing, and yes, there are colleges with solar car programs, but the high school, everyone's like, it's such an amazing experience. So they're like, wait, what, you built this? <laughs> how, how could you build that? I couldn't build that. It'll take me centuries to build that. Our big thing is problem solving. So if there's a problem, we find a way to solve it. It seems simple in itself, but at times it can get very complicated. I feel a lot of pride, really. We all put a lot of hard work, education, and time into building this, and just seeing us go across that finish line means the world. For new teams and new teachers, you don't have to be afraid of the technology involved in this. There are people out there who are willing to come in to your school and help you with it. It improves your program. It enriches your teaching. The Solar Car Challenge provides a lot of resources for first year teams. We provide workshops uh, throughout the year for new teams where you get to talk about how to actually put a car together, the mechanical, the electrical, and you get a lot of other teams participating and providing inputs. So while we're a competition, we're also an educational institute, and that's our primary focus. Everybody there has bled and sweat and cried as much as all the other teams, and so if one car breaks down, you have three or four other teams there to try to help them because they know how hard it was to try to get to where they are. And the winner of day two in the advanced classic division, 257.9 miles total, Iron Lions. Congratulations. Everybody behind the scenes, all of our staff, are volunteers because we believe in what we're doing. These are people who've either raced in preceding races or are somehow or other involved in the solar community. I started solar car in high school and I quickly developed a love for science and technology. And I raced for two years and I've never left. I know what it meant for, to me. It's what really solidified my desire to be an engineer, uh, set me down a great career path that I've absolutely loved. And I wanna make sure that other people have that opportunity. When I used to race in 1997, we had five cars. Last year, we had more than 100 teams actively building cars. We deal with between 1,500 and 2,000 in our education program, and we've been doing it for 26 years now. It's a lot of people. After you put 15 months into this, with all the sweat and the brain power and the successes and a few failures, the time you spent after school and on Saturdays, when you're finally on the road driving your solar car, you say, this car is something that I built. The pride that you have of being able to do something that maybe a college or a corporation does, and you're doing as a high school student, it makes you proud.